Hey guys, about to go into the second round of an Oath of the Gatewatch draft. One round one. Our deck has two pretty crazy bombs in it in Planar Outburst and Linvala. Um, so that's helped a lot. We have tons of removal as well. Red was very open for uh, Boulder Salvos, so that's pretty nice. I wonder if our opponent is here. Our, our, the match I played in, as I'm sure you noted, took a long time, but there was one that took even longer, so sometimes when that happens, people go and do other things, and then sometimes they get back a little bit late for the next round, and it looks like that may be our opponent. So I'll be back with you guys when he's back. Right, he's back. We do only have a two-land hand, but we can play almost everything in our hand with it, so I think we keep it. Uh, we're also on the draw, so that's relevant. Um, so I think that's fine. I think turn one Envoy can be pretty nice, although it can get blanked a lot of the time, but we're going to do it anyway. Play our turn one Envoy. See if you play, like if you play Stonehaven Medic here, you're just like, well, that's just great. But dude's a dude, I guess. I only played that. I feel better about him playing that than about other things. Um, do another land, which is good. Um, I'm gonna play the Rampart. Actually, do I want to swing first? I think I will swing first. I'm okay with trading for a two drop with a one drop, and then I just play my Rampart who can block his two drop anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna play the Rampart for now. And in my turn. All the lands. Okay, um, I'm gonna swing again. Don't really want to use Oath of Chandra on a dude with one toughness, so I'm not going to. Um, if he tries a trick here, I would use Reality Hemorrhage um, because I get a two-for-one out of it. But uh, other than that, I'm okay with the trade. All right. So now I'm going to play my Needle Spires and in my turn. Oh, I, could, I want to play my Stonehaven Medic, but I didn't. I think I already passed. Yeah, I did. Man, I'm making some dumb mistakes <laughs> in this draft. More than usual. Let's see what he's got for us. At four. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Um, we can play... Well, keeping the Stonehaven Medic now means I can play the Medic and then Boulder Salvo that thing. So, God, she loves us, which I'm perfectly happy with. Um, but So, yeah, we're going to play Stonehaven Medic. And then we're going to play Boulder Salvo with Surge. And then we'll end our turn. Ooh, that's annoying. And... I think we keep Linvala. I think she's too good, even though that's two removal spells. Our opponent's going to be like, what the hell does he have in his hand? Um, but I think we have to keep the Linvala. The removal spells are nice um, and all, but... Yeah, I think I swing here. So we do need to draw land, but once we sort of hit the land drops we need to, we're going to be in, we're going to be in pretty good shape, I think. Um, all right, no colorless mana yet, so he's just a vanilla 2-2. Two -two. All right, that can't currently use its ability, so that's good as well. For us, that is. Um, he could potentially do it next turn, though. But we're going to play Cinder Hellion. Who he, if he plays a second ally, he can start tapping down our Cinder Hellion, but, and he can also double block and kill it, of course, but, uh, I think I'd be okay with that. It is nice. I mean, it's sort of, sort of like additional value that he, he does two damage, but the fact that if you, if you, do, if your opponent double blocks and you trade him for like a four drop, you don't feel quite as bad as one usually would about that, you know? So, okay. 
Interesting. Um, I'm going to swing with my Hellion. And I'm going to take down the Mage because I think it's more of a problem. Will be for when we cast Linvala. Now I have to decide whether I want to cast her just now and have a 5-5 out there. I mean, I would still have Needle Spires, even if he finds a way to deal with her. So I think I go for it. Um, she's not going to get me the value she usually would. Oh, God. I don't know. Against a deck with black and white, I don't think I want to do it. I think I changed my mind. Um, there's just so much removal in black and white that I just don't think I don't think it's worth it right now. Um, where if he doesn't play a creature again, we can just start swinging with Needle Spires, or if he plays, you know, so I'd rather be a little conservative here. Okay. I think I like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to swing with my Stonehaven Medic. If he doesn't block it, we get in for one. If he does, we get to a second creature when we play our Linvala. So Okay, well, same thing. Um, he's down to one card, and we're going to have two angels, one quite large and one medium-sized. So, seems pretty good. Value. Value town. Well, that is a good counter for Unvala, <laughs> I have to say. Okay, I think I'm just going to attack with a 3-3 in my Needle Spires here. To kill the Needle Spires, he has to double block it. Um, and I think that seems pretty good. We also have Wall of Resurgence, though. So maybe maybe I just attack. Ooh. Yeah, that seems like pretty good value now, given the board state, to put it on the Needle Spires. And then he becomes a, if I pay the mana, he becomes a 5-4 double striker. We're not going to be able to do it this turn, right? 4, 5, 6, 7. Not quite, no. Because he'd have to tap himself to do it. Um, okay, well, I'm going to attack with uh, my 3-3 three, three angel. And then I'm going to play Wall of Resurgence. Ah, what he can do, though, is be a really good blocker this turn, because I can block, declare the block, and then uh, make him into a dude who can just kill anything over there. So, so that's pretty nice. Um, we also have the ground further mucked up here, so I think we feel pretty good about that. Okay, so let's attack with our massive double striker, who's not so massive right now, and maybe our opponent will overlook that, and our two... Um, Three three, so our two three threes. Okay, that will take down our token. Too bad we didn't have a way to two for one him there. Okay, that's fine with me. He's just going to kill both of them before, unless he has a uh, removal spell or a trick or something. And he may. Stone Waker is actually not a bad draw right now. All right, so we got... We had a pretty good trade there, I think. I think we want to play our Stone Waker because every land we draw becomes a Spark Elemental. Uh, 
or makes makes a spark elemental, I should say. <clears throat> These ramparts have been pretty nice. Uh, I mean, this isn't a rampart, but it basically is, you know. Okay, boulder salvo. Yep, I think we take down the, the flyer. That's a problem. Does mean we can't do our nonsense. Um, Alters reef. Okay. Does reload his hand. Um, but I think we can attack here fairly confidently with our 3-3, three, three, our 5-5, five, five, and our 2-1. Yeah, all right. Well, we just sort of steamrolled our opponent in that game with some awesome cards, um, <laughs> which this deck seems like it will do. Uh, Searing Light does seem good against him, but so does Reality Hemorrhage. So, what do I cut? Probably... One of the medics, maybe. I mean, they're good blockers against him, but not incredible. Not when we have better ones. Um, so, yeah, I think that's better. Down to 12 creatures, but still. We didn't get any of the sweet sideboard cards uh, from Oath of the Gatewatch, like Tears of Valakut or stuff like that, um, unfortunately. But uh, that's okay. We don't really have that good of a sideboard in general, but our deck is super strong, so... If you see four full four boulder salvos, that's you're pretty hard to have a bad deck, I think, unless somehow you were not taking red already, which we weren't initially. We were trying to go black white, but then it was like, well, there's a boulder salvo, and there's another one. So, reading signals is important. Opponent is sideboarding. Um, I'll be back when he's done. All right. Okay, I think this is a keep. It's definitely slower than most of our hands, but we've got some good stuff going on. Um, don't have a creature till turn three, but uh, we have a way to interact with his early creatures should he play them. Stone four Jackalite. Um, it'd be interesting to see if he has the equipment to support that or if he just has it in there as an ally. There's our planar outburst. Ooh, yeah, we're probably going to want a Searing Light like that guy. Um, his life gain does get to be ridiculous. He could have swung for one there, but I guess he wants to use the equipment thingy. Hey, we drew a two drop. And we'll play it. Yeah, the annoying thing is, like, our Searing Light can't deal with that unless he decides to attack with it. Um, so if he do never does, then, you know, we do have other removal in our deck, but... Still, I think I would prefer. Okay, so he wants to be gaining life, so it seems. Um, so I guess we'll let him, because we can't do anything about it anyway. We're just going to try to opt out damage him, um, which we can get to doing pretty quickly, I think. Goes up to 22. Is he stuck only on white? Seems like he might be. Okay, well, that's the first time we've drawn that and not had mana for it. Um, I think I swing with the Sky Climber. Trading with the Ondu War Cleric sounds good to me. I could also just use Searing Light and save it. Save my guy. No, I'm just going to gain two. And take three, so it takes him down to 21. So then we'll play Maw of Kozilek, who can also swing even even more freely into them, actually. There's his black. Let's see if he's got the very scary card that he could have that's really scary, which is the one that would make me lose one life every time he gains life. Right now, that would not be so good for us. All right, Kozilek Shrieker. Hey, we can get black now. Um, all right, well, I don't think we're going to do much else this turn, so I am going to give this flying. And I'm going to swing with the Maw and the Sky Climber. All 
All right, there's his searing light. Okay, we will end our turn there. Um, we'll get black, obviously. I mean, if we can get him to just keep dumping stuff on the table, we'll be pretty happy to drop a planar outburst later, which may mean we should start holding back a few cards. We'll just take three. Sludge Crawler, okay. That's a bit of a nuisance. Ooh, I forgot to freaking... I've made so many stupid mistakes in this draft. I apologize. <laughs> forgot about my Evolving Wilds, which would have let me play Cinder Hellion this turn. Um, so, and it would have let me play Oblivion Strike, which you don't even have the option of now. Unfortunately, he has enough mana to pump his Sludge Crawler to be big enough to survive, to not be uh, Searing Lighted. Um, do I leave my Sky Climber back at this point? I think I do. What I think I'm going to do is block the Sludge Crawler with my Stonehaven Medic, and then he can pump it. The, he'll have to pump it three times in response to the third one. I can use Searing Light to kill it. Um, so I think that seems good. If he swings with his Sludge Crawler. He did. Okay, so we're going to block it with the Medic. We're going to take the other three. Oh, no, he can do it more times. So that makes him a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that was stupid. Um, we're just going to lose our Medic. And maybe get a Tempo Swing on him because he has to tap more mana. I guess casting Searing Light here would make it so he would lose. He'd have to tap the last two. But I don't think that's really relevant enough. I did my math wrong there on how big Sludge Crawler could get. I was counting him as going up from zero. Hopefully the power of my deck will... Uh, Compensate for all the bad plays I've been making. Has so far. <laughs> okay, we already have black. We already have double white. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get red. Although triple white, I guess, was probably relevant for planar outbursts. So. All right, so we can go... What can we do here? Um, we have three, four, five, six. So I could Oblivion Strike and Boulder Salvo. Seems pretty reasonable. I think that is what I'm going to do. Except we don't want to tap our mana like that. I think we strike the life gain, dude. happens and then I will boulder salvo with surge on sludge crawler he worries me more he gets to be a bigger problem in the later game I guess and I can just trade with that guy if I wanted to um, I'm gonna leave my sky climber back and in my turn Damn. Okay, well, Cinder Hellion and Searing Light. Once again, we hold on to our one bomb. He may have sighted an extra one of those, knowing because we had Linvala, who's such a such a beast. Um, I think I'm going to trade here. 
Get him to empty his hand out for us, for our planar outburst. Because he's got to put pressure on us somehow. Ooh. Well. Uh, once again, I'm going to be really sad if he plays um, another Witness the End right now. Because if he plays a creature right here, we can play Linvala next turn and get both bonuses. So I think I'm going to hold back. Hope he doesn't play another Witness the End. If he does, we're going to be pretty sad. Um, uh oh. Uh, four mana? That's not Witness the End. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Whew. Could have ended, could have ended much worse for us. Um, so do I planar outburst first? No, I think we play Linvala and then have a backup plan of planar outburst. She loves us. And that has been a big part of why we've been winning admittedly. Um, but it's been pretty fun playing with her. We get the angel, we gain five life and he's going to look for an equipment. Um, most of which is not super strong in this format. We now have the mana too, uh, potentially anyway, for holdout settlement action. Um, I mean, to uh, for the for this to be awakened is what I'm trying to say. He is digging for equipment. What equipment could he have that would bail him? I guess the uh, the one that makes the dude bigger for the more the more creatures you have of the same type. I guess it would be pretty good right now. Ooh, that's pretty good right now too. Damn. Still doesn't have good attacks at least. Um. Yeah, I think I'll swing with the three three. If he swings back, he hits me for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three, four, five, six, seven. So we need one more land actually for planar outburst, but we do have triple white. Um, yeah. Should I just keep stalling like for planar outburst purposes? I don't know. I'm going to swing with the 3-3 three, three flyer. Our slide runner will admittedly not be the greatest blocker if they all get indestructible, but that's probably okay. opponent is doing here two mana alters reap okay he's digging for something that may have been what he was digging for all right there's the last land that we needed so i'm going to assume that the slide runner and the angel here, the 3-3 three, three angel that is. Okay, works for me. He does still have a ton of life, which is not exactly ideal given the board state. Hmm. Did he ever see us play Planar Outburst in the last game? I don't think he did. I'm trying to remember. It's all running together. I'm going to play the Flame Seeker. It's another card that can swing into his board that isn't Linvala. Um, and it can block okay too, unless he gets indestructible. I think here I swing with Linvala. If he has Royal's Retribution or Stasis Snare or whatever. Oh, Mighty Leap, that'll do it. It just trades, though, so it is a two-for-one. So 
So it's not exactly ideal for our opponent. And now we're both down to, oh, another trick. So it's, no, it's still a two for one, but he keeps his board position in pretty good shape. Um, but his hand's empty, so. So planar outburst is looking very attractive. We do need to keep a creature in play um, for it to be as attractive as possible, but. Yeah, we'll take it. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. And drawing a land means we can use it, we can attack right away. Um, I only get in for one more damage than if I swing with my this guy first. So it may be worth it to just planar outburst, to swing and then planar outburst. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because now we don't need him. Um, yeah, we don't need more than one source of black anyway, so... If he had blocked there, the reason I did it is if he'd blocked there, probably would have held off a little longer on playing planar outburst. All right, so his hand's empty. We have a 4-4. Four, four. We're both in top deck mode, so both at 17. So, okay, our opponent probably shouldn't have just scooped there because all I have is a 4-4 four, four and we're both in top deck mode, but uh, he's probably understandably frustrated that our deck got two pretty ridiculous cards, um, and we drew... Both of them that game. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in round three. If I win round three, that means four packs for Bakira. Right now we're at two, um, so, but we'll see what happens in the last round in the finals. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.